Saunders Hudson held a fourth agent hostage for seven hours to gain a meeting with Tennessee Governor Winfield Dunn. After an hour with Dunn, Hudson was jailed. The UN Environmental Conference will finally get a draft declaration on the Human Environment Friday. Seven days of tough bargaining ended early Friday in Stockholm with agreement on all but two principles of the controversial document. South Vietnamese officials say that their militia killed 46 out of 100 communists that attacked a town in the central coast. The Saigon command reports 17 of the defenders were also killed. In the air war for the ninth straight day, B-52 struck at suspected communist supply depots just north of the demilitarized zone. Fighter bombers flew missions farther north. It'll be busy news time two minutes after two. If you've never owned an air conditioner, perhaps you've been spared some of these wonderful experiences. Good morning, Andrea Low Associates. Quick, an emergency. Give me my husband. Hello, Ethel, what is it? Herbert, come on quick, an emergency. Tell me I can stand it. The air conditioner, it's moaning, it's in pain. That's the big emergency, don't panic, just call someone. But suppose he can't fix it here and he wants to take it out. Don't you remember who's coming tonight? Your mother. You know how she is when she's cool. Imagine how she's being, she's hot. Ethel, whatever you do, do something. Westinghouse makes such a fantastic fantastic air conditioner, we can make a fantastic promise. If you buy a new Westinghouse room air conditioner between May and September, and it breaks down any time this year, we'll loan you one within 24 hours if we can't fix yours right there. Ethel, please do something! We'll never let you lose your cool. You can be sure if it's Westinghouse. NASA Director James Fletcher says Soviet cosmonauts will arrive in Houston within a year to begin training for the joint Soviet-American space flight in 1975. Fletcher says American astronauts already are studying Russian in preparation for the program. More than 50 persons are hurt and three dead of heart attacks in the city of Ancona, Italy. A series of 46 earth tremors in two days has left many Ancona buildings uninhabitable and residents living in tents, cars, and buses. The sheriff of the South Dakota County, devastated last weekend by floodwaters, says officials will have to face the fact that some missing persons will never be found. But new information has reduced the list of missing persons from 2,000 to 667. The death list, however, continues to grow. It's now at 200. Seven. The weather for Boston and vicinity for the rest of tonight, a chance of showers and thunder showers. Vita, please don't worry. Low temperatures in the 60s. Friday showers ending during the morning, followed by gradual clearing in the afternoon with high temperatures near 80. Friday night, fair and cooler. Low temperatures in the middle or upper 50. Saturday, mostly sunny with high temperatures 75 to 80. Right now in Boston, it's 70 degrees. Hi, sports fans, and the BZ scoreboard. In the uh, American League, Kansas City 13, Boston 9. New York 8, Chicago White Sox 1. In the National League, Chicago Cubs 10, San Diego 1. Pittsburgh took a doubleheader from San Francisco. First game 4-1, second 9-7. That's it, sports fans. The top story of the hour... Three Tennessee revenue agents were forced Thursday at gunpoint to march out of a dry cleaning store stark naked. Muck is working in that call. We'll see if we can get some action on that call. That's the 2 o'clock WBZ report. I'm Streeter Glick, WBZ News. <laughs> we now present a WBZ editorial by our general manager, Cy Yanoff. In a little over two weeks, We'll be celebrating Independence Day and that ringing declaration of national commitment to the ideal that all men are created equal and endowed with certain inalienable rights, including life, liberty, and the pursuit of happiness. By the time that holiday comes, the Massachusetts legislature should join some 18 other states in approving a constitutional amendment that will make it plain those inalienable American rights apply to women as well as men. All kinds of peripheral arguments and objections keep being raised to the Equal Rights Amendment. 
And granted, there will be a lot of follow-up work involved in changing old laws, attitudes, and policies. But the basic case for the amendment, for an end to discrimination against people because of sex, is solid as a rock. Surprisingly, though, five state legislatures have voted against the amendment, and that list includes two New England states, Connecticut and Vermont. So the future of the amendment here is still very much up in the air. The Massachusetts legislature stalled the matter a month ago by referring it to its research council for study. But no great new insights are going to appear in this old and very basic problem. And in the final weeks of the session, our lawmakers will have to face the issue straight on. We urge prompt and overwhelming passage. As Senator Birch Bayh of Indiana said, in pressing for the amendment in Congress, the goal is not to create individual human beings who are identical, but to create identical human rights. We think it's a shame America has waited so long to do that. There's no excuse for Massachusetts to contribute to any further delay. That's WBZ's editorial position. We'll also bring you responsible, opposing views. Once again, back to the Larry Glick Show. And here's Sam Davis. man. Okay. It's ten minutes after two. And at two thirty we have a, a new album that we just got in for our break. And it's uh, uh, everything you always wanted to know about the Godfather. <laughs> I listened a little bit just a little bit and it's very, very funny. We'll hear it together for the first time. Right now we're going to switch down to Charleston. And there's an engineer there at a radio station, Steve Smith. And he's going to play it a song written by Mike McCluster. You might say, who's Mike McCluster? Well, Mike McCluster is a fellow who wrote the song. He's in Fort Wayne, Indiana. We're going to talk to him at 3 o'clock. Hugh McPherson gave us this lead. Let's switch down to Charleston and see if we get a hold of Steve, Steve Smith. Hello, Steve. Hi, Larry. How are you doing? Molto bene. What station are you at? WTIP and WTIOFM. Okay. And what's your job there, Steve? Well, actually, Larry, you know, when you work in a rather small station, you do everything. I do everything from engineering to news. What about Hugh McPherson? Well, of course, uh, I don't think... Uh, I have to say much about Hugh's reputation. He's quite well known all over the country. Right. He's collaborated with uh, Long John Neville and NBC on several programs and uh, really is quite well known. I spoke to him last night for the first time and he impressed me. He impressed me. I liked Hugh McPherson. Now, what about this song that you have? Do you know anything about it? Well, Larry, I can't tell you too much about it, except that you did have uh, Mr. McCloster on the program about a week ago. Right, go ahead. And, of course, uh, your listeners there in Boston are familiar with the Buffalo Creek disaster, which did kill 118 people. And uh, Mr. McCloster wrote the song about that disaster. Tell us about that disaster. What do you know about it? Well... Larry, actually, I was the chief newsman on duty here at this station when it happened, but things happened so fast. Tell us what you know of it, when it happened exactly, and what, what happened. Well, the dam broke, as I understand it, rather early that morning. There was uh, conflicting reports concerning uh, facts about whether the people had any warning and things of this nature. But actually, Logan County where this disaster happened is a county made up largely of coal camps and these slag pile dams I guess are quite common in that area and the people live day by day with the knowledge that one of these dams could give way. Where exactly is Buffalo Creek? I'm not that well up on my geography Larry I can't uh, give you that information just exactly. When did this happen? What was the date? February 26th. And how many people were lost? 118. Hmm. All 
right. And uh, what do you know about this Mike McCluster? McCluster. Well, Larry, to be absolutely honest with you, I know nothing okay. about Mr. McCluster. That's what I like, an honest answer. <laughs> Steve, you have this record, right? Yes, I have it set up here and ready to go. All right. Uh, what about the level? Do you think it'll be good? Well, I tested it as best I could on our local line here. I didn't have any connection with your station to test it with. Why don't you do this uh, so we'll be sure that we get it? Uh, John, can you record this too, John? How, how long will it run, Steve? I believe it runs about two and a half or three minutes. All right. Play about ten seconds to see if we get a good level and then come back on, okay? Okay, fine. Ready now? Ready now. Okay. How's that? That's fine. Okay, cue it up, and then here's what I'll do. I'll count down. Three, two, one. When I hit one, you roll yours, we'll roll it here. Okay, now give me just a second here to cue it. All right, cue it up, Steve. He's rolling back the tape. He's queuing it up. Ready to stand by. Okay, we're ready. Stand by in Charleston. Stand by in Boston. Three, two, one. Was good quality. You really matched it up good. You did a good job matching it up. Well, thank you. All right, Steve. Listen, give our give my.
best to Hugh McPherson. Okay, may I give you a message to relay to Mr. McCloster when he comes on at three? The answer is yes. Okay, fine. Uh, as I said, Hugh had this song on and Mr. McCloster about a week ago. Right. And we asked for response to this record, and it was tremendous. Okay. Uh, you did just tell... just. Just tell uh, McCluster that the response was great. Right. You leave it to me, okay? Uh, okay. Okay, thanks very, very much. I appreciate it. All right, sir, and thank you. You don't have to call me, sir. I was just a staff sergeant. <laughs> so long, Steve. So long. Bye. It's 19 minutes after 2 o'clock. Let's take a call, see we have here. 254-5678. Hello, WBZ, you're on the air. Come on, sir, Larry. Hey, très bien, et vous? Not bad. Dante down the Dante, Dante. Uh, la, 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 la. I, uh, no, what I was calling, calling you up for, for, Larry, was, uh... What is it, Dante? That, uh, that, uh, business agent there, Mr. Marino. Oh, yeah, what's the chance of him becoming mayor of Lynn? Well, he, uh, he, we topped the ticket in the primary Tuesday. Right. And, uh... He was at a plurality of over 2,000 votes. Yeah, go ahead. And, uh, well, a couple of the other candidates endorsed the acting mayor at the present time, but uh, we're confident and we think that we'll overtake him. And he's going to be on TV uh, the uh, July uh, 5th on Channel 2 at 7.30. He's going to have a live debate. Mr. Marino? Yes. Oh, yeah, great. And, uh... Frankie wants to say hello. Okay. Can you hang on about 30 seconds? Yeah, as a matter of fact, we'll put on a little something. We'll wait right here for him, okay? Okay. Okay. Hi, girls. Hi. How'd you like to feel better? Yeah. And look better? Yeah. The BZ Shape Up pamphlet created exclusively for WBZ will tell you how through proper nutrition, exercise, and dieting. How? Can we get it? It's available through junior and senior high schools in most of Massachusetts, a service of the Mass Teachers Association. Somewhere, things run smoothly, but not here in Boston. Boston is the kind of town that needs watching. Now, Don's first gray light begins to wash away the chill black of night when suddenly the air is shattered with a sound. And as the city comes alive, the vigil begins. Joe Green and the BZ Copter with a lowdown on Boston traffic. Another service of the BZ Morning Team. However, halfway through, Joe Green from the BZ Copter.